Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we are diving into what I can only describe as the best ranged weapon in all history. Don't stop it. Listen, the bow is great, I'm telling you, but it's just not what everyone makes it. Are you done? Can I, can I get on with the video? Okay, today's video is about the sling versus armor and the blunt damage it might cause. Nope. Now the first thing you're probably thinking is, wow, those are some white, white legs. Yes, indeed they are. The second thing is, why was the shirt off through the intro? Well, if I've learned anything watching all the Marvel movies is that in the trailer, you need to have at least one shirtless guy. to get attention and then you can move on with other things or you can have a small child running around also just to kind of get the awe factor Aww. in there as well say hi henry hi henry okay like i said the purpose of this video is going to be to test the damage hi, now like i said the purpose of this video is going to be to test the damage of a sling against armor. So what I did was I made this here. This is gonna be kind of like a representation of a rib cage, so to speak. I'm gonna set it up on the dummy and in front of it, I'm gonna put the padded gambeson in front of it and some armor as well to see how that does. Dummy, no, not that dummy. It's just the dummy, like the, the, the big dummy. You mean the fake dummy? Yes, the fake dummy, not like a dummy dummy. You mean a real dummy? Yeah, not like it calling someone a dummy. So we're gonna put this right there on the dummy, we're gonna have the padded gameson and some armor as well. I'm gonna check to see with the sling how that cracks. But of course, before this video starts, we need a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by the mighty Carthaginian Empire. We may be their subordinates, but it's much better than being under the thumb of the Roman Empire. What? They lost? Rome's in charge? Hold on. Today's video is brought to you by the mighty Roman Empire. If you love roads and trade, but you hate independence, well, Rome has just the answer for you. All it asks is that you bend the knee, give up your savage ways, and you too can be part of the Roman Empire. Check them out, www.romanempireimperialssubjugation.com. Now I know at this point you're probably thinking, Bormir, you look a bit shorter. Well, he did lose a lot of weight. In fact, he lost half his body weight. Um, so I had to tape him up there just through lots and lots of abuse. So here's how it's going to look. We're going to take this right here, set it up underneath the padded gambeson. I'm going to strap that on. After I do that, I'm going to put on brigandine. So I feel like that kind of overlapping plates is going to be somewhat similar to like some of the armor of the time. And that'll be a good indicator of when that sling hits that. If these crack, I feel like they'll be up against a flush body. If that's going to cause internal damage to the body from a sling. Also, just for descriptive reference, these are three quarter inch ash dowels. So I use these for the war bow. So they're really strong, good grains, and so it's probably not one-to-one -one with bone, but it's going to be a good indicator, I think, of if the cracks will happen beneath the armor. All right, so we are all set up here now. We have the wood underneath here with the padded gameson and with the brigandine, which has the overlapping steel plates on there. So I'm going to take some pot shots at it, put a helmet on them, just because in case I miss, it'll be fun to hit a helmet also, and we'll just kind of see what the results are and what the impact is after a few hits.
All right, so those are probably as good as we're going to get. Those shots were direct right here. You can watch it on the slow-mo. Those hit clean, impactful. They were heavier rocks. Those are right around seven ounces, so on the much heavier side of the kind that they would be slinging back in the day. You know what? No cracks. So there's a lot of impact there, but it's not cracking that wood. I think part of it's because it's ash and it's really stable. But I also wanna do a couple of shots just at the wood now and just kind of see what happens to it if I just hit that and see if it's really a good one-to-one -one test for what the body would be. But overall, this did exceptionally well. Um, it absorbed the impact because of those plates and those multiple layers and so it definitely did a good job again this isn't lead shot so it's not as powerful as it would be not as massive and i'm not the world's best slinger but based on those results the uh, armor did very well diffusing that All right, more than anything, I think that's an indicator that I probably need to work on my sling strength. Um, you can see it definitely chipped into it quite a bit, cracked a little bit here, but not like a pure break. I was expecting it to just like shatter inwards, but it's bouncing off the uh, dummy as well. So I think it's helping dissipate some of that impact there. Um, so it's not getting like that true fracture break. So I don't know the extent that the armor would have done because those direct hits here and here, though solid, cracked that in. But when I hit the uh, armor and the plating, didn't do much of anything. But we're not going to stop there because I'm out here now and we're going to finish this off strong. Why are we not done? You may ask. Well, we still have Grand. <laughs> And the goal right now, so we're gonna put that armor back up and see what this bad boy will do to that wood. All right, here we go. We are suited back up Ugh, with this bad boy here. Let's do some work. See what we got here. Those were solid hits. They felt real good, by the way. All right. Well, where's my knife? Hold on. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see those ones, even with the armor and the padded gamison over it, crack those wood dowels pretty easily. I mean, not easily, I thought I would do more to be honest. So I think that that's a good show of the strength. Now, next up, we're gonna be rolling with some range and some different types of shot. In this sling, of course, you have a few different kinds. You have river rock, which is the cheapest, but most accessible. You can have shaped stone or shapes rock. Then you have hardened clay. And then the best, of course, is lead shot. There's also different weights. So you got this one here, which is probably about three ounces, somewhere like that. You got this one here, which is about probably eight ounce rock. And I'm gonna show you, even from 50 yards, you can be relatively accurate with it and it's gonna, just really disrupt some lines if you have this thing coming from a distance. Now keep in mind, slingers of old could throw it a lot farther than me and 50 yards is all I really feel comfortable doing right here. But I wanna show you what that looks like.
right, everybody, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a ton of fun to do. I'm having a lot more fun being campy and goofy, especially with the intro stuff. So if you like that, let me know. Uh, if you don't like it, I'm gonna keep doing it because it's my channel and that's like the most fun part of the video is trying to be silly, goofy, and funny. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If not, your taxes have increased via the greatness of the Roman Empire. If you dislike the video, then the Colosseum for you. And if you didn't make it all the way to the end, well, taxes again. So hope you guys have a good one. This was fun and I'm gonna go ice my arm. Gosh dang. Ah.